Hey, it's the Creatures doing a reaction trailer to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem official teaser trailer 2023. Talk about a long title for that. Uh, let's see. My history with the Turtles. Uh, I mean, I've seen the movies. I watched the first cartoons growing up. Have a bunch of the action figures. I'd say Raphael and Michelangelo are two of my favorites. Raphael would be because of the attitude, always being stubborn, getting into trouble. Michelangelo, just a fun guy. So I think it's maybe I like both of them because of my personalities. Like, you know, I'm so serious like Raphael, but I try my hardest to be fun. Try my hardest to be fun. I don't know if that's the right way to look at it. I just like having fun. And I'm that he's he's like that kid. He's like, he's definitely that teenager. Maybe it's Michelangelo. I'm like him because I'm wanting to be like a teenager, you know, never really growing up, never having responsibilities, never being an adult. But then Raphael comes along with that logic and that common sense. And it's just like, we need to do this, you know, I don't know if it's really anger. So yeah, <laughs> enough talking about me. Let's get into this trailer. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Paramount. Oh, that looks cool. That looks really cool. A new generation of heroes. That looks badass. I love this art style. New York City! Let's try that again, but with Ninja Stars. <gasps> hey, why do we pick a fruit shaped exactly like my head? Just stop talking, you're ruining my concentration. You're fine, chill. He's gonna die. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Did you hear that? What was that? Well, not that we can do. You guys wanna grab pizza? <laughs> What the heck are those things? They look like little Shreks to me. Oh, we've prepared our whole lives for this. Oh my god! <laughs> You were baby turtles who made contact with mystery goo. Well, we prefer the term ooze, but yeah. It's like more like, it's just nice. It, it, it rolls off the tongue better, yeah. Ooze. 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 It's nice, right? Ooze. It's ooze. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this. We're going to loop it. Let's pause it. Let's start over like we always do. Okay. There's Bebop and Rocksteady. I just saw in there. Wait, where are, where were you? Okay, Bebop, right there. Rocksteady. They're looking cool. April O'Neil. That must be April O'Neil, right? Representing the yellow jacket. She kind of has, I guess, a little bit of red hair. And this artwork looks really, really cool. You know, it's it's crazy because like everyone's. Com everybody compares everything to like s some staple of new meaning like the spider verse like i get that like that art form but do we always have to like compare it to that because i i didn't automatically jump into this going spider verse i just saw like in some of my feeds i was trying to avoid this trailer and i saw people are like like the spider verse and i don't get that feeling Right here is like kind of like it's cool. It's like a water paint. I don't know. It's just really cool. Abstract water paint filled to the city. Like I, I look like right now I'm looking at a painting. So I'm really excited to see the art or the um the movie because of this artwork. This animation. Generation a new generation of heroes. 
which is cool. I don't know. They is it a new generation of heroes or is it a new generation of heroes for or let me say that again, a generation of heroes for a new crowd. But I don't know. Straight from the sewer. And then like they're doing um Tribe Call Quests. Can you kick it? And was that was that Lou Reed's that they covered the song in the background? Lou Reed or it's um I'm trying to think of the other one. The other band who hung out with um drawing a blank here. An artist from New York City, Andy, Andy Warhol. Uh what was that band's name? Anyways, got sidetracked right there, but it's cool that this is New York. So we got all four of them. We have Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, and they're definitely teenagers. He's rocking some glasses. I saw Michelangelo has uh, braces right there. You can kind of see him in there. That's super cool. So nowadays, because they have um, it's modern times, because they have cell phones. And then right here, do they have their little logos on their, let's back up real quick. Their little letters on their belts. Yeah. So that's Michelangelo back there. Probably could hear him talking, so we'd know. But then you can tell the difference between, obviously, if you're a fan, you know the colors. <clears throat> but that's cool. So Donatello, Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, and they have all their stuff on their belts that you'll be able to see throughout the movie so you can keep track of them. I do like that. Make it fun for the new generations. Raphael. Oh, can't do anything. Let's get pizza this summer. I saw something about Seth Green being like, oh, still being a teen being a teenager, which I agree. I, I feel like men don't mature after 15 and women don't mature after 17. And then Splinter with a fro. That's cool. Raphael kicking in and then these guys, bad guys going, what are they? Rocksteady Bebop, April O'Neil. We don't, I'm, I'm trying to see if we see anybody else like Casey Jones or something. That's when he gets stuck in his leg, but there's no blood. And then their logo, which is cool. Not hating on it. Liking it. They're up they're up on the roof. I wonder if they're gonna have a hideout in the um sewers. They're eating pizza. Maybe that's where April lives. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm digging I'm digging the art. And the animation. It looks really good. Okay, so they're showing everybody back here. Ice Cube, I see. Jackie Chan, I see. Ja is Jackie Chan Splinter? That would be dope. Uh, Post Malone. Seth Rogen. Paul Rudd. That's cool. Paul Rudd's in it. I like Paul Rudd. I like Seth Rogen. I like Jackie Chan. I can't make up the other names in there. August. Only in theaters. August 2023. All right. Hashtags. Mutant Mayhem. Teenage Mutant Ninja Nerdrolls. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trailer. Well, thanks for hanging out and watching this with me. I, I talked a lot in that. Um, that was a one minute and 53 second trailer, and I talked for 10 minutes. But thanks for watching these. Uh, if you like, that lets me be creative. If you watch any videos, you should like their videos. Just support them. People are spending their time putting out content and I get like people are filthy rich and you can tell. And then there's people like myself who are just doing it for fun. And 
you know, it's it's a it's a good rush when you see people like your stuff or people comment on your stuff and they're happy. All I really want to do is just make everyone happy and smile when I do these trailers and reaction videos. And on top of that, let you know that there's these trailers out there in case you're not aware of it. Uh, not everyone gets to sit and surf the internet on their time off before they head into work to find these new trailers and make these videos. So I love doing it for you. Have a great day. Another reaction trailer down. Like I said, going to be a, a busy, busy uh, year in 2023 with all these new movies. But yeah, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.